Here's a pretty good question for Calculus 1 students if you want to have a little challenge. Here's the question. We want to find k so that the equation e to the 2x is equal to k times the square root of x has exactly one solution. Hmm, yeah. So as always, please pause the video and try this first. You finish? Alright, good. So let's see. Well, first, let's take a look at the graph for e to the 2x. I will put that down right here for you guys. And that's just going to be an exponential curve like this. And this is y equals e to the 2x. And if we look at just square root of x, it's going to look like this. But the thing is that I don't know if they will touch each other or not. However, we do have to multiply by this k. And if the k is big enough, the square root of x is going to get higher, right? So it's going to go up like this and then curve like this way. So you will see, in that case, we will cross the curve uh, two times. That's not what we want. We just want a good right k value so that the curve looks like this. Ready? Starting at 0, 0 and then go up like so. And they will touch each other at exactly one point. And this right here is y equals k times the square root of x. So how exactly can we make this happen? And as I said, this is actually pretty classic. Firstly, in order for them to touch each other right here, of course, they will have to have the same y value. And that's exactly this equation. I will put that down right here. e to the 2x, e to the 2x is equal to that, k times the square root of x. Well, what else do we know though? Here's the thing, if two curves touch each other at exactly one point like this, right? They actually have the same derivative. So we are going to look at this and differentiate that and we will get 2e to the 2x. And then we'll look at this and differentiate that. It's just k times the derivative of this, which is 1 over 2 square root of x, right? So altogether it's k over 2 square root of x. So. These are the equations that we have to work with, and as you can see, this is a system of equation. Multiplying this on both sides, we will get k being equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, and then we have that, which is e to the 2x, and then also the square root of x. So this is what k is, and now we just have to put this right here for this k. So we are looking at the equation e to the 2x being equal to k, which is that, and that's 4 e to the 2x times the square root. And then we multiply by this square root of x. Yeah, and then we'll just finish this real quick. So here's the thing though. Notice how we have e to the 2x on both sides, but this time we know for sure e to the 2x is never going to be 0. So we can legitimately divide e to the 2x on both sides like this. So they cancel out. I know we could, yeah, but let me, not, let me just finish this. So on the left hand side we have 1, and then on the right hand side we have 4. Square root of x times square root of x is just x. So altogether x is equal to 1 over 4. But do not box this for the answer though, because the question is asking us to find k. So we are going to put this right here, so we know that k will be 4 times e to the 2 times 1 over 4 and then multiply by square root of 1 over 4. Yeah, and then this right here is just 1 half times 2. That's the answer. Times 4, that's 2. And then e, and then that's going to be 1 half. And of course, we can make this a little bit fancier, which is 2 with the square root of e. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what k is. k equals 2 square root of e. Pretty cool answer. So. I will tell you guys that this is a pretty classic calculus one question. Usually in a slightly harder side, I would say like a median rare level. No, median level. Yeah. And uh, I have seen that they put this kind of questions on the AP exam and this, this similar type of question on AP exam and also uh, college entrance exam such as the Oxford uh, college entrance exam. If you would like to see more questions like this, or well, at this level, go ahead and check out the playlist for the Oxford admission test in calculus. I'll see you guys over there, and that's it.